Top Gun Maverick will finally fly into theaters on May 27th. But last week, I was invited out to San Diego to view an advanced screening and to interview the people who made this movie. And during my interview with legendary producer Jerry Brockheimer and the film's director Joe Kaczynski, I learned some incredible news about their Dark Star hypersonic aircraft that's featured in the film. As it turns out, they used a full-scale mock-up of this aircraft that was actually built with cooperation from Lockheed Martin's legendary Skunk Works. And the final product was so real, it may have fooled the Chinese government. Let's dive into this. I'm Alex Hollings, and this is a special edition of Air Power. All the way back in November of 2020, I published a story on Sandbox News called Dark Star. Is Top Gun's Maverick flying an SR-72? Now, I based my story around the Matchbox toy of Dark Star, which had been released way back then, in anticipation of the movie coming out somewhere around that time. What I noticed playing with the toy is that it looked an awful lot like artists' renderings from Lockheed Martin of their notional SR-72, which is supposed to be a hypersonic follow-up to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird. Now, Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works are legends in military aviation. They developed the SR-71, which was, and still is, the world's fastest operational aircraft in history. They also developed the first operational stealth aircraft in the F-117 Nighthawk, and the world's first real stealth fighter in the F-22 Raptor. And as it turns out, I was probably even closer than I realized. I thought maybe the film studio had based their aircraft on this idea for the SR-72. But during my interview with Jerry Brockheimer and Joe Kaczynski, who made Top Gun Maverick, I came to learn that they actually built a full-scale mock-up of their Dark Star aircraft with direct cooperation from Skunk Works. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just play the relevant portion of my interview for you so that you can see the words come directly from these filmmakers' mouths and you can decide for yourself what you think. I understand that some people have called into question the idea that China would reorient a spy satellite to check out a movie mock-up, especially when the Chinese censors were clearly involved in elements of this movie. However, it's worth noting that with NGAD and the FAXX and the B-21 Raider programs all in various stages of development, it's very likely that the Chinese military is keeping a close eye on any facility related to Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, Northrop Grumman, BAE Systems, really anyone who may have a dog in any of these fights. So I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility that China would have wanted a closer look at this very realistic depiction of a hypersonic aircraft. But without any further ado, I will turn it over to, well, myself about four days ago. Ed Joe worked with Skunk Works and, Lo and Lockheed to, to design the, the plane that's in there. So they had a lot of fun doing the Dark Star. That was actually my next question. I have to ask about Dark Star. Uh, I really appreciated the, the fine detail touches you see throughout. There are obviously elements in Dark Star to things like Aurora and the SR-72 and these legendary aircraft. Were you going for anything in particular? It, it seems very realistic. Yeah, definitely. I wanted it. The reason that we approached Skunk Works is I wanted to make the most realistic hypersonic aircraft um, you possibly could. In fact, as you saw, we built it full scale uh, in cooperation with them. But the reason it looks so real is because it was the engineers from Skunk Works that helped us design it. So those are the same people that are working on real aircraft, uh, helped us design Dark Star uh, for this film. So um, yeah, I mean, it, it had to look just as real as the F-18s and the P-51 and everything else in the movie in order for you to buy it. So that's why we, we worked closely with them. The Navy told us that the Chinese satellite turned and, and had a, a different route to photograph that plane. They thought it was real. That's how real it looks. 